for joining us so lokesh has cleared his uh, capf examination so starting with what motivated you to join uh, this uh, capf and how was your uh, journey yes madam madam i would uh, like to first thank you and karan nehru and the institute for giving me opportunity to share my experience here so thank you for that and uh, as regards with uh, the motivation of, for joining the capf madam uh, my three generations of my family had been in the armed forces already i had joined uh, source guidance program as well in i think 21 2021 and i had given some ssbs as well 11 ssbs to be precise so in so the motivation to join the cap was mostly because of the family tradition madam okay okay thank you so much uh, so please tell us uh, in uh, the uh, how is the uh, examination uh, or people are uh, attempting their ssb afcat cds but capf uh, is a bit different uh, when it comes to written part as well as uh, the uh, physical part so please tell us what are the differences in the capf examination rightly said madam Uh, the written examination is slightly different, although uh, the same agency that is UPSC conducts NDA, CDS as well as CAPF. The written examination is different in the sense that it not only has an objective exam, uh, objective paper, but paper too is subjective, which contains essays, essay writing, report writing, etc., arguments, uh, etc. Uh, in terms of the objective paper, I would like to uh, say that the 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 emphasis on the various topics that are given that is almost the same that is in all the defense exams we have emphasis on sports we have emphasis on defense current affairs we have emphasis on geography and mapping and capf is also not an exception to this i think the major difference that is between core defense exams and capf lies when it comes to general studies static subjects that is polity history geography economy etc this is the main uh, i would say bone of contention which because of which many core defense aspirants who go for nda cds afcat post guard as well they find it a little difficult and civil services aspirants they make an edge here only in paper 1 and paper 2 as far as uh, after clearing paper 1 and paper 2 we appear for the physical and medical which is like not very it's not a very big deal most of the people clear it and we have the interview the interview of course is just a 20 minute affair i would say compared to the 5 day ssb process it's very very different uh, also i would like to emphasize here that um, the people who have given at least two or three conferences uh, who have appeared for the interviews because in the ssbs we have to appear for like 45 50 minutes uh, in the upsc it's not more than 20 minutes usually at max and we have four people as well there we have just one person at max two if it's a trainee uh, uh, sitting by the side so yes the interview is different uh, quite different but uh, the people who have given ssb they stand at an advantage as compared to others that is what i would like to emphasize here madam mm-hmm. and uh, you said that you joined nfa in uh, 2021 so uh, what the role nfa played in your uh, selection part Yes, ma'am. Uh, madam, before uh, emphasizing on what role did NFA play, I would like to share why exactly did I join NFA. Uh, <laughs> before NFA, already I had given five or six conferences of mine, and mm-hmm. even after in- introspection, even after improving, I was getting conference doubt. So I did not really know what was going wrong with me. So then uh, I had seen source guidance videos uh, earlier in YouTube as well, and I felt like maybe I should give a chance here. Uh, maybe I should interact with sir. So and when I interacted, I think it was fruitful in the sense that when sir emphasized that you cannot really fake your personality there, you can you, whatever you project your personality to be there, you have to be exactly like that in real life. You have to be organized in real life. You have to have some clarity of thought in real life, and that will. get projected automatically there so that really struck code with me uh, although i would like to say that uh, i implemented all of this but even after that i could not get recommended in the next 5 6 attempts but in the end i think i was satisfied because i had given my 100% whatever that was in my control wherever i could improve i think uh, i did improve there 
I did not get recommended, but that really helped me in getting a good score in the CAPF interview, madam. So, and oh, that has been one of the factors behind getting me a good rank, also. So that really helped me. Okay. Ah, uh, and uh, please tell us about uh, any specific resources if you ah uh, can ah uh, jot down for us for study materials. uh that is specific to capf perhaps yes madam as i had already mentioned madam uh, the written examination is slightly different than the cds or fcat or coscat or nda for that matter uh, as far as the resources uh, that are considered i would like to divide the materials between as i said four static four gs static that is history polity geography economy and the rest that is defense current affairs or sports section or uh, or or the um, defense deals that are done or important personalities important days etc which are considered important in all the uh, defense exams so uh, as i said there are two two streams of aspirants which appear for the capf one is the core defense aspirants like me the yeah. other are the civil services aspirants who take it as a plan b so for the civil services aspirants since they have done the uh, core they have already done the core gs part it's not that difficult as far as the core defense aspirants are concerned it becomes an issue because the core gs part is it takes time you need to give it some time uh, so as far as the gs part is concerned i was i had prepared the basics from the usual sources only that is from the polity from lakshmikant or spectrum uh for history for geography the ncert for economy the basic videos uh as far as like if there's something that i would like to suggest to the core defense aspirants because sometimes it's not possible to read all of these books uh it takes time so what people can really do is that they can read first of all we have to analyze the pyqs they are absolutely absolutely necessary like if i have to give an analogy it would be like if 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 a person is preparing for these exams without pyqs it's like you're entering a landmine without a map with you where where you have to like go and where not mm. pyqs are a must you what pyq do is that they tell you what exactly is important and till what depth you have to read a particular topic so it reduces the load a lot when we like if there's someone who says that for polity aapko lakshmikant pad leni hai a person imagines an 800 page book cover mm. to cover mm. but that is not true a person mm. does not have to read that 800 page book from cover to cover in order to clear the exam you and you will realize which topics are important and at what depth they need to be studied through these pyqs only pyq in the sense that you can you know refer topic wise the pyqs of nda cds uh, and capf all together लक्ष्मीकांत पढ़ ली है इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स की ही उसके बाद देर आर समरी पी डी एफ अवेलेबल सेवेंटी पेज बुक और एटी पेज बुक एटी पेज बुकलेट Uh, you can easily revise it 10 to 15 times uh, for the uh, for your exams and we all know revision how important revision is so if you rather than revising the whole 800 page book two times or three times you can simply read the book once or twice if if it's if you can and then refer to that 70 page 80 page pdf and revise it 10 to 15 times and then you will stand at an advantage Uh, this will also clear the confusion of the core defense aspirants as uh, when they say that gs ka jo static portion hai bahut heavy hai and this will reduce the load similarly for spectrum as well we have people can read people can read the pyq they will understand which topics to go for at what depths they need to be studied and then they can uh, read the uh, summary pdfs 70 page booklet and they can revise it 10 times they can go for the uh, written examination with confidence madam yes uh, okay thank you for this elaborate uh, discussion please uh, <laughs> tell us uh, what uh, aspects did you develop in your personality as such 
uh, during this process, uh, your routine management, time management, uh, language, English language, or uh, mathematics, or core syllabus, uh, that might help you in your interview process. Absolutely, madam. Madam, uh, I would like to state one fact that <clears throat> I gave my first NDA conference uh, in 2015 only. After that, I have given many other conferences, and since then, I have been like you know in the in this journey of developing myself, this journey of introspecting wherever I felt like I was lacking. I like if I can personally share my experience, I think I was lacking in terms of clarity of thought and organization. Nehru uh, sir, maybe he told me that you have a little bit of a And that you can uh, sometimes uh, with, with implementation in your day-to-day -day schedule, uh, by organizing, by having daily targets, weekly targets, monthly targets, a broader plan, uh, this develops some clarity of thought. This also helps you stay motivated, keep on doing this, keep on practicing. So I think one takeaway that I can have from my journey right since 2015 up until 2023 is that now I feel like I am a more organized person, a more planned person. If there's any objective that I need to uh, that I need to clear, then I proceed with a plan. Mm -hmm. On how to prepare a plan, you can rely on YouTube, you can rely on uh, mentors that you might have. I also had the privilege of some mentors. Uh, you can definitely take the help of sir. So uh, having a planned approach is good. Having discipline, of course, is 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 uh, very important. Uh, it helps you stay motivated. Motivation is something that maybe it can get you started. But as we have heard, habit keeps you get going. It it, uh, it helps you continue your journey, even when you might not feel like studying a lot. So these two aspects, I think, I improved upon, and with God's grace, they have uh, re. I did get the benefit, madam. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, what? Uh, how? How did you prepare yourself for physical fitness? Uh, if you can tell us. Absolutely, madam. Madam, uh, since I was in the regular phase of giving the SSBs right since my graduation as well, so physical. I used to maintain basic physical fitness, and uh, before going for the SSBs, like one month before the SSBs, I used to top it up. So I used to do the actual exercises that I've mentioned in, in my hobbies as well, in my, in my, uh, in that PIQ as well. So after that, uh, so physical fitness was not really a big uh, problem for me. The physical standards that are required in the CAPF, they're also not very difficult. You, you need to do 800 meters in three minutes, 45 seconds. That is a lot. I personally haven't heard anyone getting out in that 800 meters. 100 meters, again, in less than 16 seconds, that is not also very difficult. A person with decent fitness can really do that easily. You just have to be in that habit. Short put again, very easy. Uh, you just have to be calm and make sure that you are not going to And then long jump again, you just need to have some stamina. So physical fitness was not uh, really a, a, a big problem with God's grace, man. Okay. Uh, for someone who may not know uh, this, uh, uh, different things that are there in CAPF examination, as you mentioned, short put, ye uthana, or someone who is mm -hmm. a beginner, yes, uh, can you suggest something? Absolutely, madam. See, uh, with the democratization of knowledge, we have a lot of information going around. <clears throat> so as far as the standards are concerned, there is there should be no ambiguity. People can take the help of internet. People can really, you know, contact others who have cleared it. So as far as awareness is concerned, that shouldn't be a big problem. Second, uh, as far as practicing is concerned, people have put various schedules as per various uh, you know uh, types of people. So like if I am there, I personally was a playful child right since my childhood. I have played a lot of sports. So it wasn't very difficult. I just had to be warmed up. For others, sometimes it, it becomes an issue if they have a lot of weight. Uh, if they have to reduce weight or if they are, if they do not have a lot of stamina, they need to build it with discipline. So uh, there are ample of videos present on YouTube as well. Uh, and sometimes if you contact people, they have these equipments where collectively people buy them and they can practice it. So the, the more important thing that needs to be kept in mind is uh, for an average person, 
it's 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 an average task it's not a difficult task or an easy task also for that matter uh, we should not take it very lightly as well sometimes you can get out of uh, the physical test because of this only so uh, take the help of internet i would say and implement it uh, in sincerity madam okay uh, fine one of the uh, last questions uh, uh, what was your family's reaction since you are from defense <laughs> background so yes madam uh, madam i had given 11 ssbs and out of them i got screened out only once so i gave 10 conferences and every time when i go, used to get screened i would tell my parents that okay uh, i'll i'm i'll be appearing for the conference maybe like i can get in nahi hua 10 bari nahi hua and it was almost a habit ki mai ghar ja ke batau jaise conference out ho jaye to ki nahi hua and my parents used to just console me ki okay you have given your best you cannot really do anything whatever in, was in your control so after that uh, it was also my last capf attempt as well uh, okay. as uh, as per the eligibility so yes it was an uh, it was it used to get sometimes anxious uh, when i got like i wasn't expecting a very good rank i was at best expecting to get into the list anyhow because i had got out 10 times so i just wanted a seat that is it i did not have very high expectations from me i with god's grace madam i got a good rank as well i uh, there were a lot of uh, congratulatory messages i personally wanted to tell my parents on their face and not on the cell phone mm -hmm. that i have be, i have got into the list mm -hmm. uh, so i told them and uh, they were really really happy my father he could not really you know control himself he he did not really know how to react i would say that and my mother was also happy i had the privilege of my brother he is also in the armed forces he was also there so they were very very happy and uh, it was, I, i almost felt like it was long due because i had said uh, i had given my first conference in 2015 and we expect to clear the ssb as well so it was long due since 2015 and i wanted to get into the list and then tell my parents that okay ab ho gaya hmm yes indeed indeed and uh, we are also proud of you uh, and thank you for sharing this experience with us now i give this to nehru sir thank you so much madam thank you for the kind words so oh, good well that look at long journey starting from 2015 uh ye batao beta how did you manage your work life and uh, you know written examination preparation and physical fitness preparation mm -hmm. balance because this is a problem that a lot of people face uh rightly put out sir uh since i had graduated sir uh, right since then i was preparing for the defense exams and simultaneously i was preparing the basics of the civil services so it it used to be a different thing when i used to say to people that okay i am a defense aspirant but since we know the nature of the ssbs you might not really get into despite all the hard work that you might do so ek plan bhi hona chahiye aapke paas to wo sir main basics kar raha tha sath mein and it was difficult uh, abhi kehna sir aasan hai because mere paas ek proof hai ki dekho main list mein aa gaya hu uh, it has worked uh, i would say because of the fact that i kept on grinding kept on grinding jo ssbs hote ja rahi thi i used to study and i used to keep that material with me so that agar aap baad mein ja ke pad rahe hain to aapko kam time lage bahut zyada this consolidated material in terms of mathematics or other stuff really helped me in the end as well because usme aapka time kam se kam hota ja raha hai kam se kam hota ja raha hai as far as sir physical fitness is concerned there is no other way aapko subah uthna hai aapko subah exercise karni hai aapko ek acha diet lena hai uh, other than physical fitness it also helps you in exercise like has a lot of benefits we all know that like lesser said the better so uh, that was the thing sir manage karne mein sir ye hai ki you just need to have a have a plan whatever plan you have it might not be perfect isko ekdam perfect hone ki zarurat nahi hai wo plan hona chahiye aur aapke paas ek ek dedication hona chahiye ki is plan ko execute karna hai ab kis had tak wo ho pa raha hai that is also not it does not have to be 100% that there as well करना है सर करना है करना है अब हो गया तो सर बता रहे हैं सर दैट इज ऑल वेरी वेरी नाइस लोकेश नो इट्स डेफिनेटली शोस लॉट ऑफ परसिवेरेंस दैट यू डिड नॉट लूज हार्ट यू मेंटेन योर सेल्फ बिलीफ यू कंटिन्यूड वर्किंग 
systematically right from 2015 a lot of people give up in two three years that... four and for maybe four years or something you did not a very very good that's a good uh, inspiration for others uh ye jo hai cafpf ka age limit uh, kitna aage tak hai compared to ota and uh, afat uh, sir cafpf ki jo age limit hai depends on the category that you have so uh, for the general category ews category it is 25 for the rest uh, i think for the obc it's 3 years more for scst it's 5 years more so for the scst they can give up until 30 for the obc they can give until 28 सोचा हुआ था सर की अगर नहीं भी हो पाता है रहता है सर दिमाग में वो की अगर कुछ नहीं हो पाया कहीं भी गए तो एक ये ऑप्शन रखेंगे आप पास में मतलब करेंगे सर अगर हो पाएगा तो very good lokesh uh, i mean your journey has been very inspiring and uh, so, what are some pieces of advice you have for our students and for nokel academy uh, sir as far as suggestions for nokel academy is concerned i i i i will save myself from that uh, i can only you know share my experience share the suggestions that i have collected in my journey to the students uh, many core defense aspirants they do, do not really target the capf considering it is very different from the cds and other exams so if if they want have a plan and please do not lose heart because realize that you have all the resources with you the internet has really democratized uh, this awareness thing so you have everything with you if you are preparing for the defense you can prepare it in a bundle what i mean by that is can prepare for cds afcat cg cat and capf all at the same time you because bahut zyada cheeze inme common hoti hain agar aapko koi doubt hai aap idhar udhar se pata kar sakte hain there are a lot of people who are willing to share their experiences including me if people think that i can contribute to their preparation they can absolutely you know contact me i would be more than happy to do that sir as far as sir advice is concerned again as i said be organized have a plan uh, move ahead and uh, you uh, the core defense aspirants are at an advantage in the capf interview so keep that in mind capitalize on that so it might reap results sir uh, one question just comes to my mind because this is coming to the minds of a lot of the youth today we since you are in touch with things you were preparing for civil services also so you would be following the news and all this mein kya ho raha hai uh, so, you know we had in ashoka university ek professor saab ko jo tha you know uh, people got against him then abhi ek an academy mein padhate the uh, karan sangwan unko nikal diya gaya ke unhone kaha ke vote thode padhe likhon ko do so yes. you know uh, were you when you faced your interview were you feeling pressurized ke pro government hi baat karni hai ya you felt ke seedhi seedhi jo baat hai apna view rakha jaye um So this is as rightly But, uh, you, you know very clearly what my views are on these things i am aware about that sir <laughs> i yeah. am aware about that mm-hmm. um sir as far as the upsc interview is concerned uh, again since i had been a core defense aspirant maine 10 conferences diye hue the to mera inclination tha ki whatever i feel i will tell them and provided i have a justification main justify kar dunga uh, of course it does not have to be you know bewildering extremist aisa nahi hona chahiye pro uh, as far as my view is concerned sir wahan pe aisa nahi dekhte hain ki aap pro government ho ya against government ho the thing is you need to justify it agar wahan se cross questioning aa rahi hai you need to answer them with conviction with confidence agar aapne kar liya you're in they will value this sir that is what i have learned from this baki sir baki log apne experience share kar sakte hain many people sir they 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 don't really like to say anything against government uh, but i would like to say ki aapka jo opinion hai aap rakho justify karo cross questioning hogi face karo answer karo that is like what i would say sir thank you very much lokesh thanks a lot for sparing your time and sharing your experience and uh, you see your success uh, gives a hope 
to our students that you know ssb hi ek cheez nahi hai agar aap sahi raha pe chale sahi kaam karte rahe to life mein ek baat banne ke chances aapke improve ho jate hain like you got success in cpf will be soon having a, a student of ours who has gone into the dental course shayad aapke sath ho rahi nahi hoge satveer aap nahi she was earlier than you i just got okay. suddenly a message ke mai dental course mein ho gayi and uh, thanks no for the academy for all that work chalo yaar we'll get you also for interview yaar so absolutely nice क्योंकि देखो यार जिंदगी की चीजें तो वही हैं जैसे आपने कहा कॉमन है ना पेपर्स में भी सिमिलर ही चीजें होती हैं आफ्टर ऑल इतना कोई डिफरेंस नहीं होता नथिंग लाइक वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट आई मीन नॉलेज इज सेम तो इट्स गुड यू नो इंस्पायर्स अदर्स आल्सो कि काम ठीक ठाक करते रहे तो बात बनने के चांसेस है आई हैव नथिंग मोर टू आस्क यू आर ओपन टू क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम अदर्स बच्चों व्हाई एनी क्वेश्चंस यू हैव प्लीज गो एंड आस्क लोकेश थैंक यू फॉर द काइंड वर्ड्स सर most welcome locations